In this Tableau 360, we'll take a look at how you can incorporate icons into your visualizations. Then we'll take it a step further and add some interactivity like this. So a viewer could select which marks will appear as icons or not. You could use this to display a company's logo, for example, and only show the logo when the mark is selected. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting with a very basic scatter plot, I don't have any icons or interactivity incorporated into this just yet. This is showing sales and profits for various products. So let's say I wanted to show the logos of the manufacturers of the products. For example, let's say I had these four images here that I wanted to display as logos. To do that, I need to first add them to my Tableau repository. So I'm gonna open up my Finder window, go to Documents, my Tableau repository, and I'm looking for my Shapes folder within that. I'm gonna add a new folder to this, like I've done here for Manufacturer Icons, and I'm gonna add those four images into that folder. Now that I've done that, I can go back to my original scatter plot, and I can now incorporate those images into my chart. So to do that, I'm gonna first select the mark type of shape. So click on the drop down here, select shape. And I'm gonna drag my manufacturer field to shape. And I'm gonna click on the shape marks card. I'm gonna reload shapes if I need to. If you don't see that particular new folder in your shape palette, just do that. And I'm gonna to go to my manufacturer icons and I'm gonna select each of the four images that I want to be associated with each of the data items. And then I'll click okay. I can click on the size marks card and increase the size. And there I have my images now that are being used as icons for each of the different manufacturers of those products. So that's all well and good, but I've got a big old mess down here. So let's think about how we could make it so that somebody would have to select a particular mark in order to display that icon. So to do that, let's back up a little bit and actually take manufacturer off of the shape marks card and decrease the size back down. So in order to incorporate this new interactivity, the first step I need to make is I need to create a set from a subset of these marks. So I'm gonna select these five marks. I'm gonna right click after I've selected the marks and I'm going to create a set from those. The next step is to create a calculated field that basically says, if the mark is in the set, then display the manufacturer, otherwise don't. So I'm gonna start a new calculated field. And again, this is going to be, if that mark is in the set, then display the manufacturer, otherwise give it a one end. So that's my entire calculation there. And now that I have that new calculation, I'm going to add that calculated field onto shape. And notice how I have different shapes for the selected marks as compared to the non-selected marks. Another thing I wanna do is I wanna add set to size. That will give me the opportunity to be able to keep the non-selected marks small and the selected marks big so that the icon shows up on them except I need to reverse this, so I'm just going to click on end and drag that under out. Now I'm gonna click on my shape marks card, and then I'm going to select the filled shape palette, and then for a one, I'm going to make that a filled shape, and now I'm gonna select my manufacturer shape palette, and I'm going to assign those icons accordingly. And click OK. And so that's one of the first steps is to be able to create that set and be able to incorporate some of those icons into that chart. But I'm going to set it up so that it's actually a set action where the person selects a mark in order to see the icon. So to do that, let's add this chart to a dashboard and then add a couple of different dashboard actions to make that happen. So I'm gonna drag my chart onto my dashboard, get rid of these legends, I don't need them. And we're gonna actually add three different dashboard actions so that we've got the functionality that we're looking for here. First dashboard action is gonna be a set action. So I'm gonna to go to dashboard and actions, go to add action, change set values, and this is going to be working on the original scatter plot. And my target set is going to be that set that I created. And what I wanna do is actually clear the selection, we'll remove all values from the set. Click okay, click okay. So now when I select any one of these, it's going to be an icon and the other ones will not be, okay? I could select a couple of them at a time and that would work as well. 
Except now that I'm doing this, I see there's a lot of dimming for the other mark. So how do we get rid of that? We're gonna actually create two fields called true and false first, and then we're gonna incorporate those into our dashboard action. So let's go back to our original scatter plot. What I've done is I've already created a couple of fields here that are called true and false. That's all there is to them. Okay, so put those two fields onto the detail marks card first and then go back to the dashboard. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a highlight action. So dashboard actions, add an action. This is gonna be a highlight action. It's gonna work on our source sheet of our chart that we're working with here. Make that the target sheet as well. Now select selected fields and select true. Okay, and this is a hover action on select. Now that we've done that, I can click on any one of these marks. I don't have the dimming happening to the other marks. One final detail is I don't really want that black circle around the mark. So what I'm gonna do is create one more dashboard action. So I'm gonna go to dashboard, actions. This is gonna be a filter action. And this is gonna be running on select. I'm gonna have that original scatter plot for both my source sheet and my target sheet. I'm going to show all values and then for selected fields, I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to make the first field true and the second target is going to be false. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And now I no longer have that black circle constantly on my mark when it's selected. All right. So those were the tips and tricks to be able to incorporate icons into your charts. And again, a little bit additional functionality here where a person could select the marks in order to display the icon or not. So I hope that was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.